Howdy gang, it's Zippo. It's Thursday, March 18th, 2010. I uh, put everything outside of the barn so I could do a little bit of cleaning up and thought I'd videotape what I've got out here. This is my uh, World War II era uh, Wards Simplicity Made One Wheeled walker I believe they called it a culty cutter and we've got what's soon to be the next rat rod project uh, sold the blue diamond it's gone so this one's gonna take its place got some pretty good plans for it from the guys on YouTube giving me good ideas and uh, Charles um, I'm kind of liking your blue idea so look for that and uh, on down we've got this is a 725 by the way it was a uh, Portland uh, grab that Biggie Rat uh, picked up for me and this one here came from Delta Ohio uh, Craig won it off of eBay I rebuilt the motor in it that was all it needed the only thing this tractor ever did besides sit in the barn was go out and till the small garden twice a year was all it was ever used for so everything's real tight and in good shape on that even though it ain't real pretty and uh, moving on down the road there's the old landlord everybody's familiar with that thinks it's restored that it's not just want to make sure everybody heard that I'm gonna say it one more time it's not restored I painted the hood and I painted the two grill pieces that's it everything else is all original paint I have added new old stock parts to it uh, that I've come across like the seats a new old stock seat um, the rear lights a new old stock rear light front lights are actually off of a old 1970s FLH uh, they're passing lamps is what they are and I left the eyebrows on them clean the rust off of them just little bits of pits here and there and uh, it's even got a even got a chrome light bar how that happened I don't know never seen one before probably never see one again right hand left uh, hydro lift on the other side here's my little when I go to my tractor show so nobody's got to ask me a bunch of questions about what it is or what year got that there simplicity landlord Sean Falls Muncie Indiana 1964 there so it's got new foot pads on it I found some new old stock foot pads and uh, let's move on down so we're not spending a whole lot of time on that pretty girl. This is a uh, 1970-71 uh, 305, I believe it is, uh, rear engine with a 22 or 24-inch deck. I haven't measured it. Looks about like two feet. It's a five-horse pull start. Uh, that's actually my trim mower. Instead of push mowing, I use that to trim mow with. And there's Ugly Alice and all of her glory. All of her two dozen plus parts from different tractors and different things. It's got an original Nelson can muffler on it. When I got that muffler, the sticker was still on it. I uh, paid just a tad more than what uh, I could go to the dealership and get for it. But that was alright. At the time, I wanted it. So, got my plate weights there. I've been told these are snapper weights uh, that are on the front. Uh, I had to drill the holes into them. Um, but you know, they're 20 pounds piece they work for me and this is the one that does my tilling so here underneath the uh, seat pan are just little parts of the uh, tiller drive that I just left on got my bracket for the belt guard and a left pulley on it's a new pulley and uh, of course we've got lights and a high low do to do, -do what else she's she's just she's a good old girl uh, originally a 1964 b10 uh, and it, it was a freebie and the only good part about this tractor was the frame that's it everything else was junk so picked apart and picked apart and picked apart from a bunch of tractors that's come through and got the best of the best and actually even though it's not the prettiest it's uh, 
it's a good toss up between the old landlord and its original condition and uh, the B10 I'd say those three um, are just tough as nails good tractors uh, that one's got a 16 horse in it right now that's got a 12 horse in it. I've got the 23d rebuilt ready to put in that one's got the 20 the B10's got the 23d in it and the simplicity 725's got an aftermarket gold series 8 horse just like the old Squires got and uh, my most recent acquisitions this little guy right here you guys have probably seen the videos of it got my stainless exhaust sitting on there and, um, and little four inch tires on front and ags on the back a couple of hubcaps just dress it up a little bit it's not a bad old tractor uh, starts good runs good needs a valve cover you have a oil pan gasket valve cover gasket yeah oil pan gasket but uh, other than that dumping a little bit of oil and she doesn't burn any oil then we come to the old squire and I've had this front light on for a good long while and of course this there it goes I've had it on for a while um, and I just recently remembered that I had a rear light bracket for one of these types of seats so I went ahead and mounted and I didn't want to drill any holes in her to, to run the wires or anything and it originally it had a backlight at one time so I used the original uh, wiring grommets and whatnot um, but uh, if you look right down here let me move the lift lever down I can't even tell if it's in the picture. There it is. Okay, see this right down here at the bottom of the frame? This is where the uh, uh, hanger would hang for a sickle bar mower, there where you'd hang the chain. Um, but I used that hole, and that hole is now the switch for the backlight, so I didn't have to. Uh... Boy, it's so bright and shiny out here. Yep. And uh, that choke lever is actually a belt stop and I fabbed into a choke lever so I wouldn't have to bend over and hit the choke on it. I've got an original new old stock with the cable and even the decal so one of these days it'll get put on. Um, this one gets used the most. It's got an 8 horse uh, gold just like the 725 down the row there and uh, that pretty well wraps up what we've got. Just thought I'd share a little bit. Oh, and if anybody's interested, 1988 Chevy S10 is for sale. It's uh, needing a head gasket, and it needs rings and the number five cylinder. Um, starts, runs, and drives interiors beautiful, blah, 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 blah. So this isn't really a pitch to sell it. It just happened to be sitting right next to it. But check this out. This is kind of cool. Look at the bed in this thing. That is all original paint, even on the tailgate. That's something. It was a grocery getter. Truck cap was put on before it left the dealership and it's never been off. I ain't that pretty. Anyway, if anyone's interested in it, give me a shout. Anybody that's close by uh, that feels like doing a little bit of engine work to it. But there we have it. I'll give you guys a look at the back ends of everything, I guess. Do, 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 do. I can't see my time. What do we got there? 8 minutes and 45 seconds. I've wasted about enough of your guys' time. It's Zippo. I'll catch you guys later. I'm out.